We're here. We're here. We're here. It's Hello. your boys with here. and this is Joe, Joe Medina. And who hey. we have here is Nika. Nika Celebrities Bell. That's a, how'd you come up with the name celebrities? Just too curious. That's my brand. Everything is celebrities That's because I feel like we, we are all brand. celebrities in our own right. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're here, and um, the name of the show is It's Your Voice. And we mm -hmm. encourage everybody that, you know, that has a voice to, you know, chime in on um, the chat. I'm not sure if we got anybody there yet, but um, we have a chat going. And Okay. So how do we okay. share it? Okay. I'm sharing it. I'm sharing it to my page now. See, okay. this is new to us. So we share yes. it. Share now. Okay. It's on Alicia Rain. It's going to be okay. on Alicia Rain, but I'm sharing it to Alicia now. It's okay. live my now. show, y'all. My show. Okay. See, I know, I know. We just starting out, so you know we could be a little crazy right now. So anyway, <laughs> we're that here with so Nika Celebrities Bell. That's gonna be my new Oprah voice, and um, she's an entrepreneur. She knows about real estate. She does yes. makeup. Look how flawless she looks. Flawless. She. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, she's a idea. licensed a licensed makeup artist how many yes. people you know that are licensed to be a makeup artist? right i'm just saying. i'm just saying and um she also she's a motivational speaker mm -hmm. to say this girl she does a lot yeah. of stuff so when y'all sitting home trying to decide who going to the store or who going to walk across the room and answer the phone y'all remember nika mm -hmm. celebrities bell <laughs> okay. That is so yeah. funny. I'm very busy. busy. Okay. But it's all good. <laughs> Being busy and productive is that's important. Some people are busy a, and doing a, nothing. That's your brand. That's your brand, right? Right. That's it. <laughs> busy and productive. productive. I love that. I love that. So yeah. tell me about your um pop-up shop. She has a pop-up shop that you guys should really go and check out. You know. Yes. I, whenever I see her, you know, I'm wearing some shorts and some little shoes or whatever. She is slaying every day, okay? Slaying. Thank you. Even, you know, Thank you. She ain't naked. She's never naked. Right. She got you don't have I'm not saying she don't got it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> she's slaying, okay? <laughs> she's slaying. Yes, you, don't, you don't have to be naked to be sexy, and people get that twisted too. They do. You know? That's true. You, you, they do. And sometimes you either have it or you just don't, right? That, hey, listen. It's true, though. <laughs> right. And sexy does not mean you have to have a big butt. Sexy doesn't mean you have to have big breasts. Sometimes you just exude uh, sexiness. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe yeah, you're born you with do. it. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or you got to Or you gotta buy it. You know. Anyway, hey, I ain't know nobody. Okay. It's what it is. What it is. What it is. So when when does your pop up shop show up? Does it does it just is it like really that it pops up like it's not there all the time, but right. then it's like there, and you just call your call all your people and they just flock. Right. Oh my god. So how it works? First, let me explain what it is, right? Because when people uh -huh. have um, pop up shops, sometimes they think that you're just coming to vend at an event. So what I have oh. is a fashion truck. So it's like a food truck, but it's fashion. So I have a fitting room inside. I sell clothing, accessories. And that's mm -hmm. why it's called celebrities. Because like I said, we're all celebrities in our own right. And we can look like them for a reasonable price. The prices are that's not right. cheap. What did you do in What did right. you do in yes. How you know? I I told you. I, I, How did that uh, happen? Yeah. By chance, I promise you, Um, I never paid a PR person. And mm -hmm. so a guy just came up to me, said, did anybody do a story on you? I said, no. And he did the story. And then that's how all the greatness broke loose. And yeah, wow. so I definitely you won't know, say that it was by accident. It was definitely by the grace of God. I have to just put that out there. Everything is. This yeah. is right here. This is. Yeah. We know what we just went through. So <laughs> Girl. <laughs> this yeah. is. Yeah. Ooh. So when, when, so. Do you practice real estate and the pop-up shop? Oh, I forgot one thing. She's what? also getting her master's. Three weeks. Woo! She got three weeks before she gets her master. 
Like I said, those people on the couch just sitting there that don't even want to go to the refrigerator and get something to oh drink. Got your kids. Call your kids from all the way upstairs. They right. upstairs doing homework. If you calling them to go get you something to drink. Right, right. You get my masters. <laughs> Girl. I mean, when so you when want you get your masters then? Because, I mean, you marketing. do like 10,000 things. In marketing. Huh? Yeah. In marketing. marketing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because it goes, you need to market any business that you have. You need to market it in order for you to create a following, you know, uh-huh. in order for you to really be successful, especially the way the world is going with technology. You need yeah. to market yeah. yourself, be on the internet, like we are right now. You under, We didn't right. have this back in the day. You know what I mean? Girl, or see, if they had it, we wasn't tapping into it. Right. We were giving our flyers. Hello, <laughs> remember that? <laughs> we, we was calling our, calling our neighbors saying, yo, uh, you know, uh, I'm doing something. Yes. <laughs> right. 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 You know, we had to deal with and see what's cool about the internet is is you don't have to deal with the same exact people all the time. Exactly. You know, and see when you had flyers, you was always going to that same person that hopefully will come this time. I know you right. know they all came last time, but maybe, you know, y'all come this time. Do you have an online too? Because I would yes. think you have an online store also. I, I do. It's hard to maintain because the sales, you know. Because my prices are reasonable, I sell really fast. I sell things uh-huh. out. And I'm a boutique. I'm not a store, so I don't have, like, a whole lot of inventory. That's what makes you a celebrity as well. Because when there's a whole lot of us wearing a whole lot of the same thing, what makes mm-hmm. you different? What makes you stand out? So my goal is for That's you, it. I only sell one or two pieces. And then if you get it, you get it. If not, you lost out and you have to wait till the next thing comes around. So I guess mm-hmm. I'm definitely online at thecelebritiesboutique.com plural t-i-e-s because some people put t-y-s no it's t-i-e-s and yeah so you can find me on all my social media instagram facebook twitter all that uh-huh so, yeah yep. so they can yeah. so but see you out there and that's what you got to do how they yeah. say you got to be in it to win it I you got to be in it to win it i mean yes, and, you know, we trying to be in it right <laughs> sounds like she's definitely taking the prize she's in yes. it She's winning it. She's getting a math in the three weeks, baby. It, it's not easy. It's not easy. But if you want oh, something, man. you would make the sacrifices, girl. I mean, mm-hmm. I didn't even start wearing lace front wigs, all that stuff, until I started going to school because I didn't have time to get my hair done or anything. So people didn't know what I was going through because I still made sure that I look a certain way, even mm-hmm. if I didn't have time to sit. You know, that's why I don't take excuses for nothing from nobody. I'm like, there's always a way. Okay. Like I just got into this wiggy thing. Right. I'm loving it. Girl. <laughs> what? What? Me too. You know, when you have when you have the um when you have hair anyway, you know, it doesn't matter because it's like you never know what to do. And then you're doing something like this, except this one right here. Whatever. Anyway. Right, right. right. We <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you're like, and my hair is natural, so you know I'm always fighting. So yes. <laughs> it's always a fight. Throw that wig so on and keep just, it moving. So you, look, you don't look crazy, you know. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, man. But you look crazy beautiful. That's it. That's, that's it, it, girl. But that's really, it. I'm just so happy you came because you. you know I had to have you first on my show. Aw, thank I, you. I, you know, I felt like you really, you know, oh, we got some people. Hey, we Jason do. and Courtney. I can't see oh, anything. Yeah, we got some people here. Look. We do. We got some hey, oh, y'all, they calling oh, us. Oh, now I can see. Nico, we have to blow up. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying, Roxanne, you need to come and just hang out with us, Roxanne. Yes. The name of the show is It's Your Voice. That's what we want to know. We can ready to start a conversation. Yes. That maybe a lot of people, you know, have to have dealt with. And um, I'm about to pull it up now, child, because you know my dad going, okay, <laughs> my memory sucks. You know I what? Know. You after a certain time, Jesus. Anyway, right. get to work. Anyway, as, uh, yeah, we got to remind you all have a job. <laughs> we all have jobs. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, so our subject. Is and I'd like to know what you think about this. And you know, everybody that's in the gallery that's there talking, we want to know what you're thinking about it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, our subject is 
how much how much do you let your kids know about your relationship see people have relationships you know single people and it doesn't matter whether you're married or single single people have relationships um married mm -hmm. people have the relationships and they some people let their kids know what's happening and some people they don't and sometimes things are happening kids are just shocked you know I mean, you know, mm -hmm. how much do you let them? Is it an age limit? It's like, is it, is it like because they're they're ten? Maybe you don't feel like they should know. Or, I mean, I mean, what do you what do you think about that, Nico? I mean, Woo! Well, I'm glad when you brought this subject to me. I was like, okay, because I was in a dating, you know, scene just for a little while, not long, because I'm very marketable, so I don't stay. <laughs> You're <a> celebrity girl. <laughs> All right. Right. I don't Get it, stay girl. Long. <laughs> Some people know my uh -huh. testimony, but um, <laughs> for me, <laughs> it's like, what dialogue do you create with your children, right? I am very open. My mother was never uh -huh. open with us. Like, forget about sex, yeah. forget about, you know, anything. She never really talked to us, so we were scared of everything. And I know that I did not want my children to be that way. So I was very verbal with them. Anything that I was going through, you know, you don't tell them everything, but you want them to, they know, even if we're not talking to them, first of all. Let me, let me just put that out there. And so I, myself, I let them know like, okay, here's the situation. You know, I'm not in a relationship, but I, I do want to start dating. Right. So, and some people, from, that's how I dealt with it. So they had already known that mommy's ready, you know, and I'm like, when I feel that the time is right, you guys will meet whoever it is. And that's Absolutely. how I did it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, but some people, it's like, oh, I have to wait for months. Some people, years. I'm not that person because you never know if the children and the guy will get along or vice versa, the, the woman, if it's a man, you know? And you don't want to mm -hmm. wait too long and now you're in love and then it's chaos in your house. So, you you know, it's about you knowing the man, well, getting to know the man and knowing your children and you have to figure it out. I don't think there's like a a set time, you know? Uh oh, did we pause? Some happened. I don't know, but I don't think we. I don't think we paused. Technical okay. difficulties. And why is this? Why is this doing that? I don't know. Why that's showing little... all that? But... <laughs> it says, oh, oh I, I think because that. people are responding. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I done pressed the wrong thing. Okay, let's well, start don't press nothing. This is our first time. First, we want to just throw it out there. Mel, Mel, you have Melvin Thomas Jr. joining. We got us. Mel here. Mel, we don't. I don't see you though, but I'm gonna see if I can see you. Okay, I don't see you. Um, you got your vote, your um audio on. Oh, I would love to on. hear a man's point of view. Yeah, I want to know too. And you know, he got that cute little girl. He got a he got a little cutie there. <laughs> oh, really? Uh huh. He got a little cutie. Yeah, man, you gotta. Wow, when people are responding, so let's see what they're saying. You know, yeah, let's Monica, see what they're saying. She's saying she she said, "Oh wait, she said something." Wait, you need to make sure the relationship is going to be a long time before involving the kids. Mm -hmm. What is long time? Especially when you have boys, because you know them boys will want to beat dude up if it don't go right. Girl, <laughs> you don't want to have to lock up no little kid right. and be watching TV and all this other stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, Melon's I don't how know why they sing it. How do uh -huh. we know what long term is? And how do we know that it's going to be long term? You know, like we well, just don't know. You don't, you don't. And the you thing is, know. is that with 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 that kind of stuff, you know, it's a hit or miss. You just don't know. I mean, but the thing is, is that you know, I think that once it's look once it's looking like dude is about to move in your house and y'all that <laughs> close. <laughs> I think it's time for y'all to have a conversation with the kid. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about time. I think, I, think, I, think, I think if it's going that way, I think that's... I, I, but see, I have a whole thing about that. I don't All think right. he should know your kids until y'all starting to get serious. But that's just right. me. Yeah, because, of course. Not just You don't want to introduce your kids to a fly-by-night. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. Because now you're going to start to look like a whore. Right. Uh, yeah. And once you yeah. get that title with your children, there's no turning back. They're waiting for this opportunity to come so they can be like, and you can't tell me nothing. You know how I children know. like to throw things in your face. No, okay? you're right. You're right. I <laughs> say, listen, if they ain't serious, you don't need to know my kids. And I know people want it. They want to know your kids. 
Now, let me tell you, I got queens and kings up in here. You got to get an invitation to meet the queen or the king. So I know that's <laughs> right. I know that's right. I'm sorry. They don't need to know nobody. They, cause you know, they want, they want to get close to your kids. So maybe, you know, they can, no, 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 no. And if they do meet them, meet them as a friend. This is not my boy. It's somebody I know, school. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Okay, cool. That way, when they do, like right. if you guys do serious and you can say, you remember my friend, you remember you kind of like him. He's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. We've been talking and, you know, we kind of really like each other. We're going to see what happens, you know? Yeah, and you then, can do that then, too. You know, see, yeah. but by then, you know, you're, um, you're, you're in, you know, you, you guys are cool, you know, and then right. the kids don't want to beat them up because they kind of know them already, you know? Right. You know but what then what happens when it don't work and then you introduce your kids to your other friend that's just cool, they're going to be like, yeah, mommy. So this one's going to end up like, <laughs> well, see, I think you have to, I, I think, <laughs> well, you got to be a girl. <laughs> So now that one you got me. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm like, I don't know. Like, when you have relationships. When you have those relationships, kids get disappointed. And if the kids form an attachment, See, that was, yeah. they're gonna feel bad. Mm -hmm. You know, we always have to consider the kids. That's one thing about this conversation. Yeah. And knowing what age what's age appropriate. Uh -huh. You know, at one point in my, my life in dating, Hong Kong. I mm -hmm. had a my daughter was 14 years old uh -huh. and she just heard me I basically when she was younger kept relationships away from her until I knew uh -huh. it was going to be serious um mm. and one day 14 young teenager she heard me saying okay boo and she wanted to know who you calling boo <laughs> I'm boo I'm not on the phone with you ma and, and right. it's not the dog who's right. boo and, <laughs> Like okay, I guess I have to have that conversation with her because mm -hmm. she really didn't see me dating. I had a lot of male friends, you know, gotcha. and a lot of platonic male friends, and her uncles and people are very protective of her. But she was a young teen, and it, it was very delicate. So mm. it, this is a great dialogue that we're opening. We'll probably have to continue this conversation. Well, we, so we definitely want the male opinions and yeah. He's having if we could get so he 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 doesn't use oh, that he's on but we can't see him. Oh that's what he just so just tell him to can he talk? I, I don't know. It's <laughs> oh he can talk. <laughs> that's <laughs> Miss Rain, he can talk. That well, is hilarious. I just want to shout out everybody. I appreciate you all coming through. We're gonna be here, you know, we ain't finished the conversation. I'm just appreciating you guys coming through. Yes. And um, yes. we got all things new. Let me see. Yeah, said, they all things. Hey, <laughs> make sure your kids and kids are mature enough to understand what dating is before you start introducing men or women. Excellent point. Right. That's a good point. That's yes. a good point. Yes. That's a good point. You know, but we always think we always think our kids ain't big enough for nothing. Because I still right. my my daughter's ringtone is still her when she's five. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, she's thirty. Wow. Right. <laughs> she don't get whatever her hair like this. <laughs> and she's right. gonna be a doctor in December. <laughs> wow. Yes, but my... it's, it's true though. <laughs> and right. then he then then they said my son only knew of his father and my husband. Wait, wait, and my husband, he, he never, never knew, knew in, between. in between. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, that makes sense. See that, yeah. that's, that's what I'm saying. It ain't their business. Business. Right. And see, us as parents, like I am that parent, okay? I'm the parent that's really not interested in all your all your little you know relationships. <laughs> I have a three month right. rule in my house. If you don't, if he can't last three months, I don't need to. <laughs> if you don't last three months, my kids wait six months because they know me. I'll I be know like that's talking right. to somebody. <laughs> you be on the phone with next dude or next chick, and I'll be like, "Who that? That's so and so." Right. <laughs> Listen, them up. That's it. <laughs> Please. We just, we just, you know, went through something like that. We, we had a mm -hmm. long-term relationship and then they broke up. I had to explain to people, listen, this is not the same boyfriend. So do not, right. <laughs> do not make the mistake of saying the wrong name. <laughs> okay. Exactly. That's not the same guy. <laughs> it's true. But she was with him for a very long time. So everybody was like, oh yeah, oh, he's coming. No, he, no, he's not coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. We loved him. 
Once you want people move on. What can you say? But I, I am that parent that, that really feels like you, you know, you you got to stay on your kids' stuff mm -hmm. and let them be who they are. But like I said, I want them to stay out of my stuff too. Ain't none of y'all business. Right. <laughs> I know a I, I <laughs> Right. I, I personally know a guy who waited uh, to meet the um the young lady's um children. Right until it was almost time for him to move in, and this is a true story. And he may be watching, and I'm not going to say his name, but he knows I'm mm -hmm. talking to him. And so <laughs> he waited, <laughs> and he waited to meet the young lady's children. He moved in, they got married, and oh my God, it was all hell in that house. He wound up divorcing her within two months. Okay, yeah, well, he could not take it, and that's what I'm saying. You have to know how long, you know. I don't know if there's a timeline, but if he got to know the children beforehand, then maybe it wouldn't have ended up because he he loved her. He hated his, her children, not just didn't like. He was like, I hate them. <laughs> and they you probably know? that was all, all by design, probably because it was you know they probably was like, who's this dude? He ain't gonna be here long. <laughs> right. Mel, we got Mel, we got, us now we on got the Mel on the phone. We're using all technology here. Today, we just trying to gentlemen. make it happen. <laughs> Can y'all hear him? Let's see. Talk, Mel. Talk. What's popping? What's popping, ladies? He said, "What's popping?" That's what he said. Okay. Let's see. We can hear him. Okay, Mel. What What do you think? I, and talk slowly, because you know this is like the bootleg, you know, version of <laughs> what we trying to do. <laughs> but we gotta it's have you back on. Word another view. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> but go ahead, man. What you What you think, man? Kids. Yeah, about the okay. This was the subject. The subject uh, is how much do you let your kids know about your relationship? Well, I don't think they should know anything unless it's serious. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all you got, Mel. You said that. What, what, what else? What, 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 and you uh -huh. didn't tell you didn't tell your baby, your pretty girl. You ain't tell yeah. her. You ain't tell uh -huh. her. It's getting serious. How you gonna say it? What you gonna say to her? What you gonna say, bro? Go ahead. Uh, I, well, no, I can't I'm, wait to I'm hear this. She don't want you. She don't want you to have nobody. Yeah, See, that's the that's the same thing what you was talking about, Nika, with that guy. They don't. They didn't want their mother to have nobody. Children see, can be right. very protective. Nah, nah. Boys don't want to see their mothers with nobody. They don't want to see nobody but their daddy up in the house. That's well, the but can Mel hear me? Can, can Mel hear me? Yeah. Yes. Well, Mel. Yes, so yeah. I guess it's the age as well, or the child. Maybe the difference. Because my son, when it was time for me to date again, he said, "Mom, whatever makes you happy." So I guess it depends on the child and. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. He said, how old was your son? Oh, he was 21. 21 at the time. Oh, that's why. Of course, he had his own girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want you in his business. He was like, yeah, mommy, go get busy. Go, go get busy with somebody else. <laughs> so you'll be asking me no questions. <laughs> <laughs> Get that, man. Yeah, man. But it's still my baby. Huh? That's not in the kids? Oh, does she have younger yeah. ones? She said, Oh, he, God. Yeah. Do we have to talk about that one? Yeah. I have one that's 14. Yeah. Yeah, okay. she has one that's, that's 14. a different ball game. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. With somebody? Did she, okay. Did she see you with anybody? Well, I have to introduce her. Well, she introduced. She introduced. Uh, well, you know, she introduced the um the prince of our I mean, group now. Yeah, I had to introduce them because I wanted to marry him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, right. yeah. So, but you know, it's it's hard for kids. I tell you, when I was growing up, my mom was single, and she didn't she didn't um adhere to that. She'd have boyfriends, and we would meet them, and I would fall <laughs> totally in love with them. I was ready to marry them. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little kid, and I'd be like, totally I'm in little... love with these. Yeah, I'm like, and she would break up. She would break up, and I'd be like, devastated. Exactly. I'd be like, oh my about. god, mommy, what happened to so and so? 
that man, you know, I, listen, you won't be seeing him never. Oh my God, he's not on a call. Stop by, but we just went to the we just went to the park. Oh my God, I'd be devastated. But yeah, man. But yeah, we got we got some. Okay, we got Jason. So let me read. Jason, Jason Bell chimed in and said another male opinion. You need to let them know enough information for them to be or feel secure and included, and yet keep certain things away from them until things are getting more serious enough for you to believe the kids need to know more. And Courtney Patterson said she's not lying. Talking about that's my baby. She know I ain't gonna lie on this thing. <laughs> You know, <laughs> but yeah, man, you gotta, you know, it's hard yeah. when you have kids. And I guess when you date and it's, it has to be extremely hard. You oh, know. oh, announcement newsflash. Jason wanted to let everybody know that Nika married his brother. Hey, Jason. Oh, you're not. <laughs> and that's why I sure did. In Facebook land, I do not know Lorenzo Bell. Uh, is wonderful Nika. singer. Yes. He's great. Right. Wonderful. Awesome. Yes, yeah. and he and Melvin is also a singer vocalist. He who, who has had the fam band, his own band, and Lorenzo and Melvin are really tight, and they sing together over the yep, years. Good. So it's beautiful. Yeah, Mel, yeah. he's a singer. Mel is a singer songwriter. We had a good time, all of us, right? Cafe Wa, we put in a yes, plug. We, we had fun, man. Yep. Tuesday night. We 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 getting ready to wrap this up. You see how fast twenty minutes go? That's crazy. Oh wow. Right? <laughs> wow! Twenty so minutes good. be going as we grow. Maybe we'll need more time. Yeah, and we won't have to take as much time trying to figure this thing out, and maybe we can really start it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get better. <laughs> but real, listen, we're gonna have. I'm gonna have Mel back. We're gonna we're gonna get him get him on we'll here. Him out. Yeah. We kind of we kind of. I feel like we kind of missed out because you know. Mel, you know, I'm glad we got you on the phone, man. I really appreciate you going through all the stuff we was going through to try to get together. And thank you all for came, coming in and talking. And hey, Monica, how you doing? Thank you. She said we doing all right, y'all. Yeah. Wishing us all right. <laughs> Thanks, Monica. Monica's about to get her um, master's, too. She's actually a classmate of mine. So. All right. Get it, three more weeks. About three, <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> So yeah, so Nika, um, tell them about yes. all your um social media. Tell them yes. about all, all your social media again. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. About, well, yeah. you can please, mm -hmm. if you want to um look like a celebrity at an affordable price, find me mm -hmm. at the celebrities boutique dot com right and then the celebrities boutique on my um instagram facebook and twitter and you can um i always update the new items that we have the clothing the accessories and i'm also a certified makeup artist as we stated earlier so if you need any makeup okay. services done yes please reach out to me the celebrities boutique mm -hmm. and joe you want to talk about what you you know joe is a producer slash all this other stuff too okay <laughs> go ahead we're, joe. we're, we're, we're multi-talented women that's it you know the yes three we jobs. are we're ladies with how many jobs three that's jobs four, four or five jobs i ain't doing all that go ahead <laughs> oh my god jazz and jam productions and uh -huh. connect one entertainment into music and events special events promotions and some new one. I'm going to give a shout to Quantum Split. And uh, just so everybody knows, a young upcoming band, check them out on my page, Joe Medina. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go on uh, afropunk.com, please put in a vote for them. Very important. We want to get them out there. We're going to have them on the show in the future. Too. Okay, okay. Yes, and, yes. and Mel, I don't know if everybody can hear you, but I would like for you to say your social media. Because, you know, Mel is a very accomplished singer. He's sang background for all kinds of people. Who do you sing background for, Mel? Because I heard you've been singing background for folk all over the place. <laughs> he don't want to say. He don't want to say. He's very humble at times. <laughs> if it was me, I'd be like, listen, I sung background for Beyonce and Rihanna. <laughs> right. Just making stuff really up. Uh-huh. But, you know, it's that background. We got to do a show about that because that ain't, you know, once you get in there, it's, another world. it's a whole nother situation. It's a whole nother world. But he's an excellent singer, songwriter. Really funny guy, really nice guy. And you know, your social media is what, Mel? Um, Facebook <laughs> is Melvin Thomas. <laughs> That's it. Make sure y'all check that out every day. I got questions on there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm 
some kind of comedy going on. My page is lit all the time. All, all the totally time. <laughs> and answers everything back, which is wonderful. He does. He does. Yep, yep. So in, yeah, I, try. I try. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. And, you know, as I said, that my page is Alicia Rain. You know, and you could go and, you know, do it. I do other stuff, too. I got a show called At The Wave. I have a children's TV show. So, I'm, you know, I do a lot of stuff. But, you know, and I got a job, which I'm trying to leave. And she's finishing up her book. <laughs> she has a book. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the book. The book is coming. You should, we should have that out in a couple of weeks. And maybe right before you graduate with your master's. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to wrap this up. And just make yeah. sure y'all know, Alicia Rain, R-E-Y-G-N. Mm-hmm. Uh, e yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and um, so, you know, I just want to encourage everybody to, you know, do their thing. You know, do what you, yes. you know, have the same way I say, um, don't expire and dreams don't retire. It matter, you know, what, you know, how old you are, you know, how young you are. I mean, I know this little boy that sells cookies all over the world. I met him the other day. That's amazing. He was on Shark Tank. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> so, you know, so just just remember, just keep your head up, do what you're doing, and just continue. All things new. I don't know your real name, but thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Jason Bell, Monica Wood. Let's see who else we had today. We had some. We had some oh, some we had. We had some 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 Hong Kong people. Hey, Courtney. Beatrice, hey, Lekatina. Okay, stay safe out there with all this weather. Thank you all on. for coming, and we're going to be doing this again. That's it right. might be Wednesday next week because I got I got a rehearsal. We'll let y'all know. I what? <laughs> let stay tuned know. to the page. Mika continues success, and thank everyone you. Everyone, stay empowered. Stay empowered. That's it. That's it. Hong Kong, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be, all, be careful over there, you know, Trump stuff away from Hong Kong. <laughs> China, I think China going to win, though. I'm sorry. I, just my opinion. Anyway. Oh, God. Be over here. And our but prayers I'm be taking our, my stuff. And let's just say our prayers go out to all the folks in Japan. And oh, Taipei. yeah, Japan had a thing. Yeah. Um, you know, this typhoon. Hey, Shaya, happy and birthday. And the the uh -huh. floods, people losing their lives. Hey, Joyce. Hey, God bless him. Right, is that that burgundy that be singing? Is that the yes, burgundy? it is burgundy. Where's she? Where's yeah, burgundy? You at? Singing, girl. She's in London. London. Hey. Hey. Girl, you be singing burgundy. I heard you. Mm -hmm. Hey, be dope. Oh, Shay Joy, yes, I love yeah. you, mommy. Yeah, that's my that's my oh. other that's my adopted daughter. I have about fifteen kids. Y'all, you know, I have five personal ones, but you know, after they start getting friends and you start loving them all, you just Joyce, it just be in the it be in a mix. But thank you all so all much, Arabella Johnson. Everybody's here. Hey, girl. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, y'all take all care. Along we we leaving. Take you. care, Mel. We gonna have you back on because this is this is messed up. We can't be. We can't let you go out like that. <laughs> all right. We love you, Mel. Thanks for coming, yes. Mel. We really love. You. Okay. One love. Take care. Bye, y'all. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs> Your voice. Your voice. My voice. Her voice. Bye. <laughs> oh no! Wait. Let me kill Oh yeah. No. I know. I know.